Right, this is a route to Glen Thorn something cliffs. Over there we've got um, Bosington Hill and all that which I'll be climbing up on Thursday to get up and walk to Minehead. <sighs> Some people walk from Porlock to here. I, I would have done, I could have done it, but basically I had to get back. I knew I couldn't do it both ways. But it's, it's beautiful everyone, you know? The foxglove greets me, the ferns, the, probably the hidden ticks. No one about. No one about. There's a few solo walkers that I've seen very weary. My goodness, and that'll be me later. That's why I'm doing it. I'm fitting this walk in today because it's not an ultra hot day and there is shade. But it's not what I call an ultra hot day. And I've been sensible. I've decided not to do the lighthouse because it meant a long climb down. And I've got enough climbing to do anyway. I'm, I'm glad I'm not really hungry. I've got a I've had a bar of chocolate, that's always a good one to have. That'll keep you going for a couple of hours, that will. A Yorkie. Now turn back. No, we can't see the lighthouse yet. This is, this is the southwest coastal path, everyone. I'm doing a series of videos. I've come out more prepared battery-wise. Rather than having to hold the charger all the time, I now walk with three batteries. I have two. Th they're all charged up when I leave. One fits in another camera that I've got. Uh, an inferior camera, but it does do photos. Not on Zoom. It does videos, which it can do on Zoom. Um, it's been battered. My other good camera... Um, it's got problems with the zoom sh opening and shutting. A big clunking noise after the sandstorm. So whether it can be repaired, I don't know. I think it's a mechanical fault. It's a good little camera, that. It cost me 350 quid. And it's... I normally bring both of them out. I mean, I'm relying heartily on this one to get me through. Um, but I brought the reserve camera, the smaller one. But I am going to upgrade anyway, so uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about that Sony at the moment. It might cost a lot of money to repair and I just will buy another camera. <sighs> you can get a good camera for 150 quid. <sighs> right, I'm moving away from local Lummuth. Now, though it only said two and a half miles, it's more in that when you do it how I've done it. So you still can't see the lighthouse. There's the path. I would have to have gone quite a way. Walking around there. If you just wanted to do a lighthouse day, you could just come out from Lynmouth and just do that. But I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna come back another time, maybe, and do that. Maybe. I don't even know if I see the lighthouse from here. There's the somebody having a fishing day there. The sea looks blue and calm. Um, I don't know if I can see steep home or anything yet. I think it's around the corner. I might just be able to make it out in the far distance. I said to Zara, look out over the sea when you take Maggie out and I'll be in the distance on another seaside. I thought I'd give her a few days peace. Um, she hasn't tried to ring me either. She ain't got any credit. Right, this is Glenthorne Woods and Forest. Looks lovely, doesn't it? I mean, I've got no idea how long this is going to take me to get back because I'm still walking away from Lynmouth, don't forget. I so much want to do or 
so much want to do it, but I can, there is another route I can take if I feel, when I get the county gate, if I feel it might be too much for me, for some reason, maybe not that, it could be that it's getting dark. I'm going on unknown territory. You know, and in theory, you could do it tomorrow. Actually, don't put that idea in your head. You could do it the other way around from the valley. You could find, you could follow the Coleridge Walk. That's another big hike, though. That's down there, but you've got to do it on the way back. You've got to do it anyway. Yeah, I've, I've been lucky with the weather. We've had horrendous weather this summer, really. We had a couple of really hot days. Too hot for, like, too much walking. Um, and then the wind was fierce. We had these wind and sandstorms over Weston. Um, I had started cycling, but the wind. Just lately, we've had so much wind. This was the day I really prayed for it to be good. Here it is, somebody coming. Hold on. Let's turn off a minute. Right, we're carrying on through the Glenthorne Forest. Now, they said they started off two hours ago from the cloud place. Um, that is, these are the sort of places I wanted to go. But, you know, you talk to young people, it says no fun carrying the lot. So, uh... Ah, this is lovely though, show, isn't it? This is lovely. Costs so much for a taxi, doesn't it? I haven't even got those numbers on me. You've got me in your address book. Ah. God, you know, I feel so blessed being able to do this. These memories are going to stay with me all my life. I said it before, they are. It's not every day you can just come out and do this. Um, we've got lovely places over Cheddar Way, but this is so special, I'm sorry, but that nothing nothing competes with this here. It really is this ancient forest. It's, oh God, it's beautiful, isn't it? You know? It's beautiful. This is a lovely track. It's nice and cool here. Uh, that you've got there. I am going to look at the time now. Now, what does that say? Church Hill Coombe. Oh, Chub Hill. Chub Hill Coombe, this is. I shall look at that in a minute. So, there's a lot of little coombes that look like this. It's quarter to one. Now the rule of mine is when you get to three, you turn back. You turn back. Well, I don't know if I've bitten off too much to do. Uh, I'll do that as well, but I need to do this. I, ha I have to do this this walk anyway. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't really. Well, I'll worry about. It. I'll get back in a minute. There's a lot of and all that to do yet. I wonder where they picked up this route then. What it is? You're going down there. You've got to go up again. Chubby old coom. I'll have a look on the map in a minute. Right, so I've just met two Australians that time. Oh, they could have been, well, what the bloke was. Girl didn't say a lot, but they've been camping. They're moving along the coast. They're sharing the load, you see. Um, sharing the tent and equipment, the camping equipment, the water. Basically, they, it's easier with two. But it'd be a different journey with two, but I'd have to get somebody very understanding to cope with me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so I, I like to like video and stuff, you know. 
I like to, I really do. I like going on my own really, but from a logistics point of view, two, it's easier sharing the load. Really is. I met two blokes doing it alone. Um, I haven't met, I have met women that do it alone. Um, I haven't met anyone doing it alone for a while. Well, back at um, Contesbury, Contesbury Church, there was a, a very tired looking man. Um, he didn't have far to go though once they get near Lynmouth. You can go by the river there and rest up. Um, yeah, I'll check the, the map in a minute. I've got a feeling we will, well, if you go down, you've got to go up. I know that. And that big hill over there is what um, was a reference point for me that I got to that hill, but I got to the other side of it. But I needed to do this, this walk. Even if I don't get to the ore today. That ore will get done one day, I'll tell you that. Bloody well. Oh. It's not enough hours, so I should have left at six in the morning, see. But they don't do breakfast till eight. I think I probably could have requested an early breakfast. Um, I could have done with a two, two hour start. All right, over and out a minute. All right, carrying on the walk. I've just bumped into, into another couple. There was a runner as well. Um, who've just come from County Gate and it took them just under two hours from here. They're doing a circular walk, but they're not going all the way to Lynmouth. They're going to cut off and uh, they're going to get into a valley of some sort. Uh, what I'm going to do... I'm going to see what happens when I get to County Gate. <sighs> because it could be that I won't make it to Orr today. <sighs> it's such a shame. I don't know if I'll have the strength, you see. <sighs> but I need to get to County Gate because I need to finish this mission. <sighs> I need to finish this mission. <sighs> What's this one called? Swanell Coombe. Swanell Coombe. Yeah, I must have met a nice couple. The boat looked about my age. Don't know about the girl. Um, they're doing a circular walk. The bloke's carrying all the stuff, but they're not doing a massive one like me. Um, it's not one o'clock yet. I thought it was gone one. Um... So I'm doing alright. See, I don't know how bad it is going back to that Coleridge walkway. I don't know. I don't want to start getting into a march, you see, because it takes away the... the, um, the joy. You've got to rush. Look at this, though. Hi, old forest. It, this, this goes on for miles. It's one of the longest stretches of old ancient woodland in the country, by the way, in the British Isles. This walk. I'll do some more photos in a minute. Just trying to capture a lot so I can remember. There's the sea out there. Beautiful trees, beautiful weather. There's a nice seat. I'm going to have my fruit bar in a minute. And a Next seat, we stop water, if there is another seat that is. Um, water, fruit bar, map. Yeah, I've seen a runner going along here. He looks fit. Oh. 
I'll have to check my memory in a minute. So I've got another 32 gig. Must be getting close to it now, though. Oh, it's so beautiful, I just can't stop videoing it all. I mean, I'm 68 and a half. The time's going to come when I'm not going to be able to do this. And it's going to be in the next, definitely within the next decade, I think. Not big hikes like this. I can always turn back and come the same way and do war tomorrow. What do you think? What do you think, Shell? Get to the fountain, see the time. <sighs> Seemed a bit cheating, doesn't it? <sighs> I reckon that water, so I don't know if I bought that, that map with me. It's bound to be something posted. going the same way. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Hello, old tree. You've got a label. Because you're special. Old and special. When you go down, you know you've got to go up. Oh, God, it's a long way off that hill. Stood on. There's a hill between those trees. Right through there is a hill. Four Point Hill, where it's called. I stood on that. There's a bench on the top. A couple of hours ago. Oh, it's so beautiful. Right, I'm turning off for a minute. 